Hello traders out there in trader land. This is the weekend edition. My name's Dez here at Grok Trade and this video is good through Sunday, July 31st, 2011 and we are rounding out July when the markets reopen. It will be August and I did do a live trade on late Thursday night. I did see the markets start to take a hit and I did do some trading. Just go here to the website, click on futures and it's a longer video but it's a live video and I talk through where I entered, where I was moving my stop losses. Very educational. I think you'll find it beneficial. It's 21 minutes but it'll be the fastest 21 minutes of your life. Do me a favor, click on like right here on the side and if you're on Facebook, make sure you click like on Facebook and you will start getting um, highlights of news breaking. Uh, Why I'm here, I'm also going to show you sector rotation for the week. Speaking of the week, this is the worst week we've had all year long. It was a bloody week, as you can see here on the performance of sectors. Thing that I made note of is financials <laughs> were not at the bottom. So that was a good thing to see. Matter of fact, on the one month, you see financials off the bottom. On the three months, you see financials off the bottom. Six months, financials are still at the bottom, but hopefully we'll see financials creep up. If so, that should be bullish for the markets. We're taking a look here at the S&P. We are in the midst of some big time news. The GDP has come out and the GDP is now is growing less than what it did the month before. It only gave us a growth for the second quarter of 1.3%. We were looking at two point something positive, um, which was forecasted. Anyway, let's do this. The S&P daily, huge symmetrical triangle, a bloody week. I'm crashing down, found support at this trend line. If I were to show you, let me show you this. Going back, 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 back to yesteryear right here. We come up with this small trend line, small trend line support. You can see that right there, support. We dropped down below, found some support near the 200 day moving average, came back, closed right there on that trend line with a hammer. So upside potential is a very real possibility. If you look here on the Citrus Oscillator and the MACD histogram ticks are getting smaller, heading more bullish than bearish. And it wouldn't surprise me if the markets do go bullish. However, I'll tell you, Capitol Hill, the uh, White House, they got to get their act together. They got to come up with a solution that is best for America. So the investors and traders such as myself find more security and confidence in the markets going into the future for us to want to put our funds and capital into the live markets because what we hate more than anything is uncertainty and that's precisely what we're dealing with right now is uncertainty so it does not surprise me that we had a major major sell-off but I'll tell you they have to make a deal and that is right around the corner so if that deal does get nailed down hammered out we should see a nice pop here so let's be watching for that now on the Dow this is the Dow daily Dow daily major drop double top re trend reversal pattern we're heading down below all major moving averages but we are near a lot of support a lot 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 of support here Nasdaq uh, big ascending triangle flat top ascending bottom here nice nice setup we got a little bit of a pullback here but not nearly as bearish looking as what the others have been so we just crossed this area when the other ones have already made it down here to this low so if we do pop that will be relative strength in comparison to what we're seeing in the Dow and also the S&P let's look at the Russells the Russell's a little different. Small caps taking a huge hit. We do have a trend line coming up where we go way back here, find support. We come up, 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 support, and we broke that support. Relative weakness really extended down to the downside. We do have an extension downside with a hammer finding support at the rising 200 day moving average. However, if it does pop up, I see a trend line acting as resistance, but we do have these histogram ticks getting a lot smaller like it does want to pop up here on the daily chart on the banks daily uh, we're at some major support area at 1700 
be watching this. If the banks get solid here, be expecting a big run up. That would be a nice support area to see that. We have a gap down run up. I do like this white tail that we have right here. So uh, be watching these financials. Now, what we're going to do here is go to the weekly. The weekly here, we have this big bull flag. And check this out. We Hit resistance drop, hit resistance drop, hit resistance drop, hit resistance, hit resistance, hit resistance, hit resistance. We don't, we're not getting off that line. So that is more bullish and it is bearish. If this thing pops, whatever run we got right here, we could get right here. So this could be a nice significant run in the banks, which would be very bullish as far as the markets are concerned. And move this up just a little bit. You can see the CCI. We are dropping over sold areas and let's go here to the dow the dow big huge ginormous triangle on the weekly chart at major support so if we're going to get a bounce it's going to have to happen right now it wouldn't at all surprise me to see us drop down to 12,000, find a lot of support pop back up for this next week but we need to make a huge decision and now are we going to break down or are we going to bust out we're coming to the apex on a weekly chart this is building up a lot of power and strength. I'm looking for a major move one direction or the other. Here's the S&P Weekly. The S&P Weekly, huge symmetrical triangle. Again, this line, this line, we're at major support. If we're going to bounce, this is the place to see a bounce take place. However, we are in also in a rising wedge. This rising wedge is more bearish than it is bullish. And we have a big drop. We are hitting this support line if it hit it hard enough it will break that ice and if it breaks that ice enough it's going to punch through we do have some support levels and some moving averages but this could be just a bloody drop here in the markets and we're dropping on the cci and neutral zone but nonetheless we are dropping and the nasdaq the nasdaq is not at the lower support line like the other indices are. This one actually is building a high base. We come up, hit, 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 hit. High base, high bases so are more bullish than bearish, and that's happening in the apex of a major symmetrical triangle. I'm looking for a breakout to the upside. If that happens, that should help the market get some wind under its sail, put the wind to its back, and help the markets go northbound. Now, the Russells are small cap. This is a different ball game. Small caps are showing a lot of relative weakness. Not only are we through this lower trend line, we're actually closed below it. We closed below 800. We're at 797 for the weekly. So for the weekly, the, we are big time showing weakness on small caps. So those in the V newsletter, be very careful with those small cap companies because we are showing some relative weakness. All right. Now we're going to go over to the monthly chart start here on the bank monthly the bank monthly huge symmetrical triangle every candlestick is a month we cannot get off of this upper trend line very very powerful when you see this if it breaks this wow we are looking for some good bullish behavior out there in the markets this has built up a lot of power it can't get off the upper trend line if it breaks we expect some real nice movement out there in the markets here's the dow the Dow here, nice uptrend. We hit resistance. We have a nice bull pullback, but choppy. We have made a higher high and a higher low. So, relatively speaking, for the week, it did fairly well, but it did give it all back by the week's end. We do have some sport coming up. Again, it wouldn't surprise me. Get down to about 1,200 or a little change and then get a bounce there and head on up. I do not like the stochastics banded, banded oscillator. We do have a big time bearish divergence, so that does not uh, look overly great. The S&P, nice bull pullback, looks just like the Dow, higher high, higher low, but giving back all of its strength um, throughout the week, dropping bearish divergence on the stochastics. We do have some nice support coming up here with the trend line and then coming across here at 1268. And the NASDAQ, nice relative strength, a little pullback, but this looks like a high base to me. We did find resistance right here at this swing high and has retraced, but as long as it can stay up here, 
at this level that would be great I'd like to see it get over 2800 stay above 2800 then break out to the upside and have a run to 3000 and the Russell small caps relatively weak we did make a higher high higher low it's pulling back looks much like the Dow and S&P on the monthly chart we do have some support coming up at around 769 which we did find that last month this month is uh, over with so uh, we did we do have a higher high and a higher low but on the stochastic monthly big bearish divergence and something we're going to have to watch for uh, this coming up wednesday night I'm doing a free webinar. I only do this one time a month. Uh, take it or leave it. You snooze, you lose. All you have to do to get registered, and you have to get registered if you want to participate in my one hour training on trading foundations. If you want to get that information on the having the right foundation in place on trading, I will be doing that for you. And it'd be Wednesday night. How do you get registered? You simply go and click on the calendar, calendar at the website. Once you click on that calendar, just go to Wednesday's date, get registered there. And when you get registered, regardless if you can make it or not, some of you are across country and other um, countries and all, that's fine. You will get a recording if and only if you register. You have to be registered to get a recording. And furthermore, a big apology for the website being down. Some of you come to the website and notice you got an error. We've we're have our traffic is spiking. We got a lot of traffic coming in, and we're working on in our infrastructure getting wider so we don't deal with those crashes anymore due to traffic. So thank you for being a part. Thank you for sharing this video with your trading colleagues. You get the very best of trading analysis right here with the mentor and analyst here at Grok Trade.